So what is going on everyone? This is your host Pyropodium and if you're new to this channel be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Now with that out of the way we're going to talk about Lucy from the Fallout show and we're going to be talking about her appearance, personality, her weapon, and capabilities. Use all four of those and judge to see if whether she's the best character in the Fallout show or not. Stick around and find out. You know, I think I could speak on everyone when I say this, but when we saw Lucy for the first time, I bet you everyone was all like, man, I could for days. I'm talking weeks on end, seven days a week, 24-7, by the hour, by the minute, by the second, 365 days a year for three years straight. <laughs> I mean, look, she got she got looks, all right? She got the big anime eyes. She got the face, you know, like the whole nine yards of everything. Uh, I, I think Monty, the dude that like was supposed to marry her was really lucky. But you know what? I'm probably also going to add Chet in too, because who knows? They've been they were doing the cousin stuff for like years. I hey, yo, what the fuck? Hey, it's her words, not mine. OK, I, I just want to make that clear. She said it, not me. Overall, I got to give it a. Uh, gotta give that a out of 10. Okay, so this is gonna hit all you Ruby fans here. So in a nutshell, Lucy, Lucy's personality is very similar to Ruby Rose's, specifically volumes 1 to 3. Now what do I mean by this? Well, um, her and Ruby are both very optimistic and they both have this desire to make the world a better place and you know honestly they both got like really infectious amounts of positive energy in this world not just in the fallout universe but just in our world as well we need infectious amounts of optimism more than ever i mean this place is getting really depressing i don't know about you but we need more people like them so you know what even though Lucy does seem like a kid, especially throughout the series, I still got to give her a 10 for this one because unwavering, that unshaken force of optimism is never to be broken. And I kind of look up to stuff like that. Okay, so the dark gun that she has... For, uh, for the normal people watching this without playing the previous Fallout games prior, they're going to think that, oh, this is impractical because it only immobilizes the target, but it doesn't, it doesn't neutralize them, you know? If you were one of the OGs just like me, the ones who played Fallout 3, uh, well, specifically Fallout 3, you have not lived life if you had to use that dart gun to cripple the legs of, like, inbreds running after you because if you guys have played far like a uh, point lookout you're gonna know how fast those inbreds run there you are. Get you, girl. it is so scary and the thing is like like the setting is so dark and everything and they just sneak up but like behind you sometimes like dude it's you have not lived life if you have not ha done that with the dark gun ever you know what i gotta give her i gotta give the weapon a 10 mainly because of like nostalgia purposes and goddamn inbreds <laughs> uh man do I really have to go over this one? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna just say right now, dude, she fucking sucks. I mean, do I really have to get into how many times people had to help her out or her being stuck into situations where, like, she couldn't even handle? Like, oh my goodness. You know what? Like, at this point, I I I'd rather, like, be in the Ruby universe and, uh, be one of the Atlesian citizens relying on Team Ruby to help save Atlas. Oh, wait. Yeah, never mind. Uh, well, uh, both are bad outcomes, but you know what? At, at least I, at least I died. <laughs> Lucy's really not that bad of a character. I mean, if you really think about it, she really represents the embodiment 
of like a vault dweller's uh, perspective from an almost perfect vault that she grew up in. And the thing is, we got to see in the series uh, of why Wastelanders have this envy or disgust towards uh, vault dwellers. And honestly, they kind of show it better off than the games did, if I'm being honest. And... Yeah, even though like it could be off-putting that Lucy can be seen as like weak, useless, incapable, incompetent, or dumb even, it makes sense. Because <laughs> if you even played any of the Fallout games or know anything about Fallout in general, it's just basically the wild wasteland perk, like just every day. A lot of stuff happens, you meet different people, like, even years to come when playing the game, Lucy's personality fits in into the lore of the Fallout universe. And whether you like her or hate her, it makes sense. At least the people who made the show, like, they were able to implement that properly. You know, I gotta give her, like, the awesome on this one. You know, she's a really great character, um, despite her flaws and all that. But anyways, guys, I just want to say... Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you all in a bit. Peace.